So I, I take it, Herantir, you've uh, you have fully delved into this game far past where I'm at. I tend to really slow roll things. So how far have you gotten in this game? How far? How far are you? Have you gotten through uh, like all of the? Uh, Ah, uh, you've seen people play this act. I've tried to stay somewhat free of... Where the heck did... Yeah, I've tried not to watch other people unless I know they're behind where I was at. That way, I don't get too, you know, get too spoiler. But I don't mind backseat driving, which is kind of a funny thing. Where? All right, now I'm getting confused because I don't know where Storyteller is. <laughs> Too expensive. <laughs> Too expensive for a Brazilian. <laughs> well, I don't know. So, uh, well, at, at the end of the day, it'll become a lot less expensive at some point in time. Yeah, the beta access and having all that stuff, yeah, it gets, it's kind of expensive on that, that, that frame. Um, this much is true. Uh, Crypt Keepers. No, i got to give that to someone. Who wants I don't know if there's anybody that can actually wear the Crypt Keepers. Armor. Okay. I've got plus ones all over the place. I don't know anybody that can use that stuff, but... That was a different kind of clip. But, uh... Well, plus one... I know someone can use a plus one rapier. I know that. Okay, I think that's about all of that. And then offer all the junk up. Have you gotten anything cool? Or just just a plus one press plate. Still trying to figure about cast cantrip or first level spell. That spell deals one additional point of damage per die roll. We'll deal that out. Now we must find the storyteller. So, um, are, are RPGs your thing? Because uh, 114. Oh wow, yeah, 114 dollars. That is that is no no. I agree. I usually I, I looked at it more of that. Oh, there's the storyteller. Is that the, which, there we go. Yeah, I was looking at it more in the way of. Um, I get bonuses and stuff, and I'm going to buy the game anyway, so I figured I might as well buy it. Um, I'm also a lot older, and uh, so, yeah. Oh, you know that? I've never played that game. I do not know why I've never played any of the Dark Souls games. Um, yeah, I know, it, it, that whole different, you know, different, uh, you know, I mean, yeah, I, I don't even know what to say, I, I know that there's people in, in America that think, oh god, we have it so bad, and I'm like, oh my god, there's people, like you said, your monthly rent is $114, um, and I, 
paid $114 and didn't even really think of it that much. That's crazy. But uh, I'm glad you stopped by. So the Souls games, I, I actually need to play those. Now, are those the ones that are like really hard that everybody talks about how hard they are? That may be why I never played them. Because <laughs> because they're hard, and, and I'm not I'm not always uh, I get kind of frustrated when I can't figure something out. But uh, I'm gonna have to look into those. Okay, it's not really that hard. Okay, well there you go. I'm gonna have to look into the Dark Souls because I was trying to figure out what um, what I was gonna do after I finished this one, and I may. I, I kind of want to get into some a game I haven't got into, so I'll probably have to look into the Dark Souls games and try to try to uh, go through those. Because I, all I ever hear is good things about the Dark Souls games. The storyteller reaches out and says softly, Even from here, I can feel strange energies emanating from this object. If you don't mind, I will examine it. Using my method, I will try to see the past of its owner, their emotions, and shreds of their memories. Maybe it'll help us better understand what we're dealing with. The storyteller touches the knife, his fingers clamping around the hilt with a hungry, masterful grip. His face con contorts into an evil grimace, his voice distinguishedly raspy. Hunger. My many legs bring me into the lair, to my mother's feasting hall. Her swollen body overfilled with food is so huge that I have to look at it with all of my eyes at once. On top of this scrawny little head with a long neck that is always yearning for more food. You feel feverish, your chest where the mysterious wound was concealed feels hot. Your mind is flooded with a wave of visions, visions repeating the words of the old elf. Mother greets me with a placid screech. Stupid, greedy wretch whose only achievement is my birth. A creeping, wingless creature. It's your fault I have no wings. A symbol of greatness, a birthright. I should have received from my mighty father. Mother points me to a crowd of whimpering subjects, suggesting I fortify myself with their pathetic flesh. Not today. I summon my spawn, and they fly to me, envelop me in a teeming cloud. Like dark buzzing wings, they unfold behind my back and lift me up. Mother was old, has always been stronger, but she did not expect this. I dive on her and rip her limp, bloated body with my claws. Icker splatters. The bone spurs on my heels sink into her flesh. I clench her pitiful, tiny head and tear it off along with the shreds of meat. Victory. I am the strongest. I am the son of my winged father. The elf grimaces with distaste. His voice becomes normal again. Appalling. Stories like that are the most difficult ones to keep with me. Did this knife belong to a demon? The storyteller opens his mouth to answer, but a sudden spasm crosses his face. A new vision, a much stronger one, gulfs the old elf. The malevolent undertones vanish from his voice as it grows more determined and tired. Each Souls game, Souls-like game, have it, it's a... Uh, I ah, so you have to actually figure out how to do things in the Dark Souls uh, games, and then once you do that, it becomes a lot easier. That makes sense. I'm definitely gonna have to put them on my list of games to play then. I've always been scared to play them. I've always heard how hard and difficult they were. Even looking at the ward stone is difficult. Despite the corruption nesting in it, it still has an aura of strength. Your fingers clench the stone hilt. So tight it hurts. 
A little spot, spot on the flawless surface of the ward stone draws your attention. It looks like a butterfly. Corruption in the guise of something utterly harmless. But it will grow. You swing and stab the butterfly with a knife as hard as you can. Your fingers cramp painfully. A howl invades your ears. Light. White light everywhere. The stone knife falls from the elf's hand. Out of breath, he drops to his knees. He is trembling. Uh, yeah. He is trembling. The terror on his face is unlike his usual dignified manner. What? What was that? That was not the past. That was something that is yet to happen, or rather might happen, one of the roads to the future, if one of the possible futures. This item will help you cleanse the wardstone, or to destroy it. You feel a longing to take the stone chisel and plunge it into your chest, right into the wound that was opened up in it. It is hard to resist this feeling, but at the mo at the last moment, you self, your self-preservation instinct takes over and you manage to con keep control of your own hands. Wow. The old man stands up. He looks completely stunned. Never before has anything like this happened to me. But how? I, I'm not an oracle or a prophet or... Is this another riddle from the past that has caught up with me? I must find out. Seeing stories that have happened is one thing, but seeing stories that are yet to happen, I don't, I don't know why this is happening now. But there's one thing I'm sure of. This is not a coincidence. This is a sign of coming changes, great changes. I have shared your vision with you, and this knife tempted me. Did you see what I saw? This has never happened before. Could it be the magic of the object that you brought me? I sense dark energies in it that could cloud and charm the mind. Be careful with this item. It may have tried to influence you, but you managed to overcome it. Its power and subdue it. Or something else has happened to us that we don't yet understand. Can you see the future? I... I don't know. Obviously I can, but nothing like this has ever happened to me before. The future never opened its secrets to me before I met you. Gods, who are you and why have your, our paths crossed? I feel this is not a coincidence. Something momentous is happening. Destiny is pushing us towards something. But what? questions without answers. I swear this morning I couldn't have imagined what awaited me. Maybe it's the knife that gives you the power of divination. This knife is a part powerful artifact, but I feel that its power, this power is of a different nature. No, I felt the same as I do when I tell the past. This is my gift but manifested in a completely abnormal way. Is what you saw destined to happen? No. The future is not set. It is used... It, it used to be a long time ago when the god Eredin guarded Galarian, but not now. Prophecies do not come true, or they do, but not the way they were supposed to. I only saw one version of the future, one of the past leading to it. But the choice has not been made and our destinies are not set in stone. Who were you, who, uh, who were you in your vision? Who were you in your vision? Okay. I don't know. Someone strong and desperate enough to resort to extreme measures. I felt that what I was doing had to be done. Your powers are amazing. A few minutes ago, I would have agreed with you. But the thing that just happened, it, it disturbs me. My gift has never manifested like this. 
Something has changed, and these changes frighten me. Please examine the items I'm carrying. Perhaps some of them could tell us a story. The storyteller nods politely. Let me touch them. I'll tell you what I can see. <clears throat> the storyteller ha hand runs carefully over the scale that still still haven't lost its shine. Proud Turendalev, protector of Kinnebras, you have devoted your life to serving people. Your death is a great loss, but maybe I will be able to find something about you that is unknown to the flock of your admirers. I already thought I gave the knife. Uh, present the stone knife. The story touches the fingers and they held to the hungry, masterful grip. His face contorts an evil grimace, hunger, many legs. Yeah, we already did that one. Okay. Uh, okay. Show Trindelev the scale to the story tower. The story takes a deep breath and smiles. I am flying. I can finally spread my wings. I am gliding over the broad river. At sunset, it becomes smooth like a mirror. I like my reflection, as if another silver dragon is rising to me from the depths. But what is it? The scales on my chest are black, and darkness is spreading all over my entire body. I wake up. Clear sky is swaying over me blazing with heat. I am in human form. There is red dust of the wound struck to my cracked lips. Someone is carrying me to the stretcher, maybe a shield and spears. I am so weak, I can barely raise my hand to my face. The look of my own hand terrifies me. It is black and the skin is glistening, like scales melted by fire. I should probably cry, but I only feel hatred and nausea. All these people around, out of sympathy for them, I left mountains, flights over rivers. I went to demons' lairs. They don't have a scratch on them, and I am infected with foulness. This is not fair. My life is more precious than their mere existence. Oh, how much I hate them in this moment. And then I suddenly feel shame. No, no, these are not my thoughts. The Crusaders carry me, are my good friends. I am glad they did not suffer, but I hate them and myself so much. Pain pierces me, along with hatred. It's all because of them, all because of them. Someone walking beside me touches me, talks to me, but the only thing I hear is your mentor, he will come, will help, and the consciousness leaves me. A storyteller takes a deep breath, exiting the vision. So much hate from, from Terendalev. Wasn't she on her side? Terendalev has come a long way. Once her unit was ambushed by demons who infected her with foulness. The surrender love you met in Kinnebras went through all the trials and returned her former purity. What happened next? The storyteller puts his hand on his forehead. Sometimes the past can be as vague as the future. We all know how Tarendalev's story ended, but the beginning is hidden from us. Maybe you find something else that used to belong to her. We will know more about her fight. However, no matter what we find out, remember, her soul, the soul of a real dragon, overcame all the obstacles and torments. She was able to become pure, for dragons are truly powerful, not only with their body, but with their spirits. Well, we have more important things to do. Return with new stories. I will be waiting. I wish you interesting adventures. All right, that that is kind of um, wow. So, 
Turandalev not only died protecting people, she had been infected at one point in time helping people. So, um, wow. And then she came back. Dropped in here, huh? Now we are making a mystery of ourselves? Yes. My tail is restless. Everyone counts on me. this ritual works. It has to. There's no room for error. Okay, so now it has worked. It is now time. Twitching must be a sign. Yep. Pretty good, aren't I? Yes, yes, you are. Oh. Earbeth Scabber, ask Earbeth that. Okay. Trying to be sneaky. Trying to be all sneaky, sneaky. That should be all sneaky, sneaky. Let us be careful. Yeah, Let us be careful. Anything else we can find? Potatoes. I love potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are good for you. You gotta want potato. Look at that. Fruits times three. All right. Wait a minute. I'm sorry. I missed one thing. I go over here and get that. Trouble? No, 
They did. Well, let's attack. Go here. A here. solid plan. Cover me, all right? Wizard. Go with perfect strike. Endure this. <clears throat> Slumber. The archer. Really damaged with the demon lord. Yep, okay. So now we need to figure out let's see what's in here. Nicely. Okay. Well, then I guess there's nothing else to do but go this way. My lady Kinnabras is under siege by demons. Okay. I'm trying to sneak through stuff. Nice. Oh, take him out. Take him out. Take You've crossed the wrong mongrel. You mean? Time to share your treasures. Okay, I'm not someone does. 
enough. supposed to be going going down this way ah Stay in the back. Yes, 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 something's wrong, because I am... Yes, I know. We've got people that can learn spell. Alright, where's this? Couple of these. See if I can even get anything going here. Okay, you seem to be fine. Let's give you a couple though. Uh, you're fine. You're fine. And give me one of these. Alright. Okay. I will help where I can. Let us bide our time. A bright future awaits. Axel, yes. Axel, yes. We will 
win this war. Okay. Okay. You're good. You're good. And a couple more there. Let's see. One round per level. Completed your mission with the Great Garrison. Okay. I'm sure they mean us no harm, right? Well, that. Is not what I wanted to happen. Okay, so, um. <laughs> Let's try something else. We can't open that door, right? Okay. I don't steal. I encourage people to save the poor, helpless tieflings around the world. Starting with me. <laughs> okay. Okay, that was funny. is clear. This deep rift leads into the catacombs in the city. Where the... Does anyone else get the feeling that I am now lost in my own thing here? Surrender or else! I completed your mission in the Great Garrison. Alright. Lore of Religion. Depicts the feats of the strength performed. The corruption of the abyss retreats in the face of the cleansed relics. Oh my god, y'all pissing me off. <sighs> Doors suck. That's all I'm gonna say. This is my kind of work. 
appears to be to fill a relic perception. Okay. Time to share your treasures! Okay. Where are we at now? Okay, who has the best athletics check? The mongrel did it. I'll go ahead. Uh huh. All right. Ask nicely. We are the light. They are the darkness. What the? Don't worry about me. Seriously. Why would I go, oh, he's trying to disarm a trap, so I'm just going to go rush right in there. I keep forgetting to say, right? So, I have no idea what that is either. That, that that part that part right there kind of irks me that I'm I didn't tell anybody to attack anything I am trying anyways there's nothing I can do there's nothing I can do nothing I can do alignment no I'm not lawful neutral I'm neutral good 